Night of a Woman statue, Spanish titled Hoy es Hoy, in English called Today is Today. This bronze sculpture have created by Mexican artist Javier Marin. Uh, he is an artist of international uh, renown, uh, best known uh, for his monumental sculpture, based uh, primarily on the human form. Uh, head of a woman for matter sculptures uh, that I have seen while was walking around Turin streets in Italy. Uh, it is so remarkable a shape of head form. Uh, this woman had sculpture placed in the Solferino Square, uh, front of Arsal Palace uh, in Turin, Italy. Among the geometric structures that allow us to preserve our life and uh, in such a part of the city, the appearance of a structure that is life itself uh, is very impressive. Um, it sounds to me as a very strange uh, title and I asked two artists about why this beautiful woman had sculptures name is Today is Today. He replied to me that when he was modeling the sculpture, uh, he often writes uh, phrases or numbers on the pieces while uh, they are in the process of being uh, modeled by he and his team. Uh, a very distinct uh, characteristic of Javier Marin's work is the numbers and uh, words carved on the surface. Uh, that day a friend of him came to visit Javier Marin and Javier Marin asked him to write the first idea that came to his mind uh, regarding this sculpture uh, piece and his friend wrote on the sculpture Hoy as Hoy, it means today is today. Another aspect, life has to be lived day by day. Uh, it is so meaningful title uh, for me also. Uh, Javier Marin has an extensive work that he has uh, created over 35 years. Uh, we can consider uh, his works uh, from two perspectives, his relation with form and his relation with the material. Uh, usually he is making much larger forms. Uh, one characteristic of his work is that he makes uh, researches on various materials until uh, he finds the right material for particular form. Uh, he mostly model uh, with clay, uh, plasticin, also use bronze, polyester, resin, uh, mixed with organic materials such as seeds, rose petals, especially amaranth seeds, uh, soil, uh, dried meat, uh, tobacco. Uh, the amaranth seeds has been uh, used as ritualistic material. Amaranth seeds were used to uh, make sculptures in pre-Hispanic uh, Mexico. Uh, they would make sculptures by mixing amaranth seeds with blood and honey for uh, the rituals. Javier Marin loves to use this organic material mixed uh, with synthetic uh, polyester resin. He likes what effect may appear by accidents uh, when mixing materials. Organic and synthetic materials both have their individual characteristics uh, to be used in his work. 
Javier Marin's creative process based on the construction and the construction of three-dimensional uh, forms. Uh, accidental meetings of uh, forms are very important uh, for his works. Uh, the main theme uh, of his sculpture is human existence and he thinks that all human beings are made of accidents. Uh, the story of each person's life is full of uh, falling downs and uh, getting ups. Some characteristics evolve in this process of downs and ups. He reminds us that our body is a record of every imprint of sorrows uh, or joy. He puts cre his creation into body with the help of many technical experts and also these people leave their own uh, marks on the work in process, especially uh, on the clay. In his perspective, uh, clay is the material that exposed uh, to different uh, situations in the process, accidental results such as touch of a certain person or uh, a mark of a work tool, a friend's uh, writings uh, that he likes uh, to live as they appear uh, on the clay. For Javier Marin, these marks are very valuable and it gives a special characteristics to the sculpture. Uh, by doing this, Javier Marin indicates uh, that artwork is not only uh, one person's creation, but a collaboration of workers are involved uh, in each creation. Mm, material which is broken by accidentally or cutting out turns in a different form for a new, uh, another form. He used these sculpture parts uh, as the base materials. He began sculpting in clay, later uh, moving to bronze, and bronze he prefers to use is recycled. He collects old broken church bells inside electrical wires, cables, doorknobs, uh, keys. He finds everything he needs in that bronze. Uh, the result is a bronze with dirty stained uh, skin. He wants the viewer experience all the lives that the material involves. And also after he finishes the sculpture, he cuts and makes holes uh, for exploring inside the layers, pieces and shapes of his sculpture. By doing this, he can change some of the fragments uh, according to his findings. With this way, uh, it's turned uh, into different and more unexpected forms, uh, which is a way of uh, breaking and bypassing the usual expected patterns of the mind creates uh, surprises for the viewer's mind. The way he believes that the artist has been his own analyst, artistic work has to do with self-analysis. Uh, when we turn back to the Hoy as Hoy sculpture, it rises as a large organic placed on a low uh, circular pedestal among the buildings, creates a, a striking effect. And the low pedestal makes it easier for the viewer to perceive it holistically. Uh, we can clearly see the movement of this organic structure, the rhythm and dynamic brought uh, by the movement. Uh, the lengthening and contraction movement of the neck muscles by turning the head uh, to the side. When we look at the history of art in Antique Greek, uh, the sculptures of gods are made as full body from thumb to head, which was representing our ideal self. But today's god or goddess is only head. Uh, we may say that it symbolizes the rationality. In Christianity, uh, they nailed uh, this body on the cross and hanged on the wall. In Renaissance, uh, they gave the body its freedom again. By modernism, they created our image as mind and almost refused our animal side, uh, which is our body. 
And here in front of this sculpture, we are seeing the huge head with uh, big nostrils and swollen neck muscles, swollen lips, showing earthly lust uh, without body. Curly hair is joining together on the head. A drop of uh, mud standing on its eyelashes. This strong effect of eyelashes creates a space in between pupil and eyelashes and makes it look uh, more lively and more effective for me. Um, he creates human uh, figures that are extremely dynamic yet at the same time looks uh, sorrow and intensively uh, emotional. When we look at the statue, for me, it is an uh, African origin is evident. Perhaps it may be an expression uh, of hybrid structure that emerged with the Andalusian Umayyads uh, reaching Spain. Uh, big thick lips, uh, strong cheekbones, big eyes uh, showed the Arabian uh, structure effect. The elimination and flattening of the cavity where the nose meets the forehead, uh, which is uh, an important characteristic of Javier Marin, seems to be the character of ancient Greek sculpture. Um, this overstatement of the form uh, gives uh, us the strong taste uh, which we gain from Michelangelo's sculptures also. When we think about his other works, the bodies are sensual, life energy is high, the lips are swollen, the weight of the nostrils are slightly chubby, which shows a uh, high vitality of the figure. Uh, it stays natural uh, when going somewhere fantastic. Uh, this way of using form uh, becomes a signature uh, to Javier Marin. And I want to talk about his another sculpture, one of some works which I really uh, like uh, is titled uh, Seven. It consists of seven male head sculpture. This head sculpture is made with dehydrated meat mixed with polyester resin. There is a leather on the forehead uh, of every single one and uh, together in the correct order on the front side it reads, you will kill. Uh, on the back side, on the nap, uh, you will live. It gives an idea of uh, killing uh, to live or feeding as living beings from the lives of other living beings. And here is the sum of his other works.